Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Nishita. I would love for you guys to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. In today's video, as a part of my wedding series, I thought I would share with you guys a basic makeup kit that you will need or if you're thinking of getting one, uh, these are the products I would recommend for you. So I'm going to talk about my favorites and the products that I would recommend in each category of makeup. Because I know that if you're a bride or if you're someone who is uh, trying to, you know, accumulate your first basic makeup kit, it can be really overwhelming because there are like so many options out there. Uh, but hoping after watching this video, it will help you make your judgment easier. So today I'm just going to recommend all drugstore products for your makeup kit because, you know, not everyone can afford or want to afford so much or invest so much in the makeup. That's okay because, you know, even, you know, there are many affordable options out there that are just as good as high-end products. So in today's video, I'm just going to talk about all affordable products. So first I'm going to start off with the eyeshadows. I don't have any uh, favorite eye primer because I just don't use eye primer at all. Uh, I just use my concealer and set it with the powder and it does not budge. So you can do that too. Like especially, you know, a few people don't like to do that if, you, if they have oily eyelids. But I feel like it works just fine. Just, you know, set the concealer with powder and it's not going to move throughout the day. So I'm just going to jump into the eyeshadow palettes that I absolutely love. First one is the Wet n Wild Not A Basic Peach Palette. So this is that perfect eyeshadow palette. It's very affordable. This is only $5 and you get 10 different eyeshadows. It has, you know, two nice transition shades which will show up on our medium skin tones as well. And then you have a really nice uh, gold color in... Uh, and then you have a really nice uh, gold color in this. And then you also have a cranberry pink, which I think is really good. These eyeshadows blend beautifully. You also have a deep brown in this. I absolutely love this eyeshadow palette and it's only $5. But I want to mention one thing that you want to do your eye makeup first if you are using this palette because this can give you a lot of fallout. So keep that in mind, but this is a really good eyeshadow palette. And then the next eyeshadow palette that I wanted to recommend to you guys is the Perception Shela by Colourpop palette. You get a nice huge mirror in this and this one retails for $20. You get 16 eyeshadows in this. These eyeshadows blend out beautifully. They're very pigmented and I absolutely love this palette. No matter what kind of skin tone you have, you can totally make this eyeshadow palette work for you. And my favorite drugstore mascara is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. It's been a while since I've used this but I absolutely love this one. It's a nice affordable mascara. And then the Maybelline uh, gel liner is really good too. Moving on to primer, my favorite drugstore primer of all time is the NYX Angel Well Blood Primer. I'm sure if you guys have been, you know, following me for a while, you know how much I love this primer. I use this in almost every one of my tutorials. I absolutely love this primer. And then, uh, how many of you saw this coming? Obviously, my Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. It's my favorite setting mist of all time. This is a very good mist, especially if you have dry skin, you're gonna love this because it just adds a beautiful hydration to your skin. So this you can use underneath your makeup and on top of your makeup as well and I really like it. For foundation, I really love the Maybelline uh, Superstay Foundation. I am in the shade Golden. This is a really good medium to full coverage foundation. Uh, it doesn't look cakey on me. It lasts for a really long time on my skin and it doesn't settle into my smile lines. Very good affordable foundation, especially for weddings. This is going to make your skin look flawless. Then for concealer, uh, the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer from the drugstore is just amazing. It doesn't crease on you. It will stay on for a really long time. It is definitely like, you know, a medium coverage concealer. You can build it up a little bit more. It's not going to cake up on you. I absolutely love this and I highly recommend this concealer. For contouring or, you know, bronzing up your skin, I absolutely love the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Cocoa, which is few shades uh, darker than my skin tone. So I love to use this uh, to contour my cheekbones. It blends beautifully on top of your foundations. And this concealer from the drugstore is really good too. If you want to, you know, try out the lighter shades, I'd say go with this. Like I personally prefer the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer over the Fit Me Concealer. But both these concealers are really good and they have really good shade range as well. And for powder bronzer, I absolutely love this Elf uh, Bronzing Palette. Uh, you get like, you know, four different shades in this. This is like more cool down so you can, you know, contour your cheekbones with this and then you can use the warm colors to bronze up your skin. This is very affordable. I believe this is just $6 but the formula of this is amazing. They blend beautifully. If you're on a budget and if you're looking for a nice contour palette, I would say get this one. Then for blush, the NYX Sweet Cheeks palettes is the way to go. Like you get so many different blushes in this and the formula on this is amazing as well. They blend out beautifully and they complement our tan skin tones really well. 
And to set the under eye concealer in place, I cannot recommend this powder enough. The Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is just amazing. I use the shade medium. I use this to set my concealer in place. Sometimes I just dust this powder all over just to, you know, add that light coverage to my skin. Uh, this works as both, you know, setting powder for me. But at the same time, I use this to set my entire foundation as well. I absolutely love this powder. This is one of the best products that Maybelline has ever made. Uh, it just, you know, it's very blurring on the skin. Like, if you apply this on top of your pores, it's going to cover all of your pores really well. It just makes your skin look very smooth. And at the same time, it adds some coverage to your skin as well. Next, to brighten up underneath the eyes, uh, the banana powder from Essence is very good. Like, it instantly brightens up underneath your eyes. So, what I usually do is, I apply my concealer. Then, I set it in place using my Amazing Fit Me Powder. Then on top, then I just use this powder wherever I want to highlight my face. It just brightens up everything. Next, for highlight, uh, this Milani Highlighter Palette is just really good. Like, you get three different shades. You can mix all three of them. If you have deeper skin tone, you can use a mix of these two. If you have lighter skin tones, you can use this one or mix, you know, mix these three shades and use it on your skin. The formula of this is amazing. It's not glittery. It's not chunky, but it just adds this beautiful glow to your skin. It's not very subtle. But it's not, you know, overly blinding. I don't personally love a blinding highlighter. I just want a highlighter that's going to add a nice glow to my skin. But it should, you know, mesh in with my skin. And this one does that. I absolutely love this highlighting powder. Eyebrows, I absolutely love the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel. This particular product is really good even if you have very sparse brows. This is not something you can only use uh, wherever you have, you know, sparse areas. Even if you don't have any hair there but you want to add some brow hairs, this will totally do that for you. This does come with a wand like this, but do not use the wand to go over because it will just make the make your eyebrows messier. Just take some product on the back of your hand, then take an angled brush. Then for lip products, I think you can check out uh, the brand NYX. They make some really good, amazing lip products. Then ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip Formula is one of the best liquid lipstick formula that I've ever tried. I mean, they last for a really long time, but that particular formula is not going to dry out your lips. And they have amazing color selection as well, which I think would be perfect uh, for Indian skin tones. So yeah, please check out the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip Formula as well. So those are my uh, lip recommendations when it comes to uh, affordable products. So those are all the products that I wanted to share with you guys. Let's say if I was not a YouTuber or somehow my makeup, all of my makeup has disappeared. These are the products that I would buy first. I would go to Ulta, I would go to the drugstore and get my hands on these products. So I really love these products and I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Also give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.